Hey there guys, it's the Ramos Online here, and yay, spooky background, because it's that time of year or something like that. So, this is a new layout I'm thinking about doing for my guides, or how to use, or how I use, I guess. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. So anyway, this is something that's long overdue, and it is how I use Fur Fro. Uh, if you guys don't know, sh uh, a Fur Fro called Fua... Uh, has become my mascot because of how amazing she is, especially in the lower tiers. It's very hard to break a fur fro. So with your, with your fur fro, yeah, you're gonna want to be impish. This is to maximize your physical defense. If you notice, fur fro does have naturally high special death at uh, 90. Its defense stat is 60, but it does get doubled uh, because of its ability fur coat, which basically halves damage from physical moves. Uh, not contact, it's physical. Just to get out of the way, because some people think it's contact moves. No, all physical moves are reduced by half. So essentially, Fur Throw has double the defense. Fur Coat is ignored by things like Mold Breaker, so do be careful with that. Fighting things like a Haxorus or a Mega Gyarados can be troublesome. So with your fur throw, I found that just maximizing your HP and your defense stat is the best way to go. Giving it return gives it a very powerful stab. Uh, you'll be dealing a surprising amount of damage along with the Rocky Helmet item, which basically punishes anything that is a physical attacker. It also allows you to kill them a lot quicker, which is kind of just easier, I guess, because why would you want to not... There isn't really another item that works better with Fur Fur, really. Leftovers could work, but because of how little damage you'll be taking, and the fact you'll be resting a lot when using this set, there's really no point in having the leftovers. Rocky Helmet just is a lot better. So with your return, while I do use Sucker Punch a lot, uh, I can actually show you Fua right now, as you can see, she does have the Sucker Punch there. Going back to Fua Jr., who is a newer version of the Fur Fro, which I actually made to give away, so maybe I'll give some away at some point. Maybe even uh, in, in this video at the end, I'll just have to do something. And hopefully you can still hear me, because the music just got louder for no reason. I'll turn that down now. Uh, sorry about that if you couldn't hear me very well. Anyway, so while I used to run the Sucker Punch just for priority and a way to hit ghosts, especially Gengar, because Gengar can be kind of common in battle spot, uh, it might actually be better to run Toxic. This means that another wall can't wall you because they can't deal damage to you but you can't deal damage to them and they will eventually wear a fur throw down especially if they if they are a special attacker or a leech seed wall so having the toxic allows you to whittle down other walls quite reliably uh, because of that naturally high special death your fur throw won't be taking much damage uh, from anything really. Um, done the calcs, I even battled one myself. Jolteon loses in a one-on-one, -on -one, just to give you a rough idea of how uh, powerful Furfro can be when taking special hits. So you can also give Furfro Thunder Wave in this slot instead, and what that allows you to do is basically slow down anything that is fast and tries to switch in on your Furfro. Um, can be really good as a pseudo mega Agron set as Mega Agron is known for being a really hard to kill physical wall that can paralyze half your team. Furfro can essentially become that. It allows you to cripple special attackers that might try to switch in on Furfro, which means you can switch out into something a little bit slower without having to worry about being outsped by a powerful special sweeper. Giving her rest, or him, depending on whatever one you hatch, uh, giving it rest is pretty much essential. It's the only recovery move Furfro gets and will get at all. Even in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, it will not be getting any more healing moves for the move tutors, which is a big shame. But what can we do? Give it rest as your recovery. You will spend two turns asleep, so that's three turns total you will be out of action the turn you go to sleep, then there are two turns after it, which is why I have to give it a Rocky Helmet, which allows it to still do damage to physical attackers while asleep. And in the last slot, you are obviously going to want to give it Cotton Guard, which uh, boosts the def def uh, boosts the defense stat by three stages every time you use it. So just use it twice, and you are at plus six, which is as high as you can go. Now, an interesting thing to keep in mind, I might have the math wrong, so don't quote me on this, but after one Cotton Guard, you essentially function at plus six 
due to fur coat. So after two cotton guards, you are essentially plus 12, which is obviously impossible through normal gameplay. Um, basically what this means is if you get to plus 6 and then the other player gets to plus 6 physical attack, they will still be doing half of the damage they would have been doing when you're both at plus 0, which is very scary. Uh, obviously, a critical hit will still do you in because critical hits ignore the defense stat on the target, which means you're gonna have to watch out for that. But if you're running like, I don't know, a lucky chant team for some bizarre reason, then that will work. That is pretty much how I run my bulky fur throw. I do have some different variations, some with some speed, some without some speed, but everyone knows Fua, who is pretty much max HP, max defense. I put the last six EVs into the attack stat just to give it a little bit a little bit more bite to its return, but you can put it in the speed stat to outspeed anything with a base speed of 122. Or well, not a base speed, a speed of 122 at level 50. Um, rather 121, you would outspeed them. I don't know how to math, apparently. So I think that is about it for my Fur Throw Guide. You can actually see at the bottom of the screen other moves you can give Fur Throw, such as Baby Doll Eyes, which is a priority move that lowers the attack stat of the target. Charm, which lowers the attack stat by two stages, but it's not priority. U-Turn, um, which can get Fur Throw out of sticky situations. Uh, Thunder Wave, I've already mentioned that. Wild Charge for a bit of coverage raw to force out setups. Snarl to lower the special attack of any special threats. And Retaliate to get some intimidating damage if you are able to come in and basically revenge kill something. Um, Furfro can be used as a physical attacker. You will just want to have a jolly Furfro and give it maximum attack and speed with a choice band because Furfro does have a sort of low attack stat. Speaking of which, uh, with the IVs, you are actually going to want to treat it as an attacker in that you want to have five IVs at the very least. So 31 HP, 31 attack, 31 defense, 31 special death, and 31 speed. And the reason for this is that Furfro is deceptively fast with 102 base speed. So you are going to outspeed quite a few things if they are uninvested. If you don't have the 31 IVs there, you will be outsped by those things and you actually might die because you can get a cotton guard up before certain threats can hit you, which is very, very handy. Uh, you want to make sure your special death is also pretty high without investment so you can take some special moves. Keep in mind, don't go crazy, your fur throat isn't going to be sitting there tanking things like Focus Blasts or Aura Spheres, but it also, you know, I mean, come on, it can 1v1 a Jolteon, need I say more. Uh, and obviously your attack and defense and HP want to be max as well, so you can deal as much damage as possible and become as tanky as possible. So that is about it for fur throw. I might do another guide, depending on how this one is received, because I honestly don't find guides to be enjoyable to make right now. It's it's like, oh, here is a set I have come up with and now I get to spend 15 minutes talking about it. Yay. But if you guys like it, then I will make more because I like making what you guys like to watch. Anyway, that is all from me for now. Um, if you want, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That I'll appreciate that very much. And if you liked the guide and liked the video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and let me know why. And I will see you guys in the next video.